Welcome to today's Faith Lift message. We've been looking at the book of James in a series called True Reflection. Uh, and this week for the Faith Lift messages, I'm actually basing it on what I preached on Sunday, and you can get that on one of our online platforms, where I spoke about faith under fire. James reminds us that each of, our, uh, each of us are going to go to face trials of various kinds. And I believe we are in a war today, just we don't know it. And it's a war between our relationship with God and social media. And I'm going to be expanding on that in the next few days uh, through the Faith Lift videos. But one of the things I start off with sharing was just how did Jesus find his source? Where did he find his rock or his foundation? And I'm going to share three things. And the first one will be today. And it's from Mark 1 verse 35. It says, In the morning while it was still very dark, Jesus got up and went to a deserted place and prayed there. Jesus had a need for God. He had a need for the Father. And he chose to go to the Father all the time, to, to, to build his life and relationship and his ministry on what the Father said to him. And so on Sunday, I looked at how uh, Jesus sought out God first. He sought out the Father first. And this was key to his life. But I want to emphasize for you this morning that same passage where it talks about the deserted place. Jesus went up, got up and went to a deserted place. Uh, it was a place without distraction. And it really got me thinking about my life and my time with God and how many distractions there are. I don't know about you, but uh, I've got my Bible on my phone. And so I pick that up. But often I find myself reading a message, uh, reading a passage and going through scripture. And all of a sudden there's, you know, a push message comes from somebody, a WhatsApp breakthrough, or there's an email that bong, and you and you get a preview of it. So you just I just want to see a little bit more. What's that about? Or somebody tags you in a picture or comments on something that you posted and you want to see what they said. And before you know it, you were reading God's word and you've been distracted. I've often wanted to have a deserted place where there's no distraction so I can fully focus on God. Because I've realized it's so easy to be sidetracked. And that's the problem. You know, when there's something that I really want to be involved with, you know, nothing can distract me. You know, when I'm watching a rugby game uh, and my kids are asking me all kinds of questions, I can block that off and just focus. Uh, I've seen it happen in many men, women never, um, but many men. And it just got me thinking that, is God's word that important to me? Am I so focused on that everything else seems to fade away? And I need to get into that place where I build that relationship with God and His Word, where I can depend on it, becomes my source. I crave it, and I need it every single day. And so maybe some of us are lacking connection with the Father. We lack in that relationship, and we've kind of thought it was, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not connecting with God anymore. My Bible study is not uh, providing me with that, or, or the preaching on a Sunday is not enough. Or, and you just can't seem to put your finger on it, but you feel disconnected from the Father. I want to ask you, how, how distracted are you when you spend time with God? Have you gone to Him yourself? Have you got up early and gone to a deserted place, a distractionless place where you can actually focus on God without being sidetracked into something else? Is your time with God distractionless? Maybe you need to make that a priority today or tomorrow. Set aside 10 minutes. Get up before anybody else wakes up. Put off all your message. Put it on flight mode. Go into God's word. And just spend those moments. Say, God, I'm going to give you my full attention so that I can hear from you. Jesus got up and went to a deserted place and prayed there. Let me pray for you. Lord, I pray that you'll help us to make you the focus. To, to focus our relationship and knowing you. And Lord, I, I pray against the distractions which we have in our lives. Just so many distractions. When we get in the car, we put on the music. We, we have to have a CD. We've got earphones on all the time. We walk into a shop with his music. When we work in his music, there's, there's all kinds of things going on. Uh, we sit down in a queue, we pick up our phone, we, we're so distracted all the time, jumping from one thing to the next, trying to entertain our minds. Lord, I pray that you'll help us to find quiet before you. Rare moments, no distraction, where we can focus on your word and focus on what you're saying to us. We can be sensitive to your spirit. 
as we read your word. And those words jump out and impact into our hearts. So help us today to find a deserted place, wherever that may be and whatever it may look like, as we try and make our relationship with you number one. Help us today, in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray that you have a blessed and distractionless day.